Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. I like this new look. I like it. Drew doesn't like it. I don't like it immediately. Why don't you like it? I think you look like a kid on the subway trying to look cool with his new Apple Pro headset on. It's not good. But focus on the look. Don't focus on my fucking gay boy aesthetic. All right. I, I mean, this. I like the grain. Oh, you mean of the show itself? Yeah. I thought you meant what you had going on on your head and face. Uh, I... <laughs> you think I looked at myself and went, I, I like this look. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, th- I mean, the vision. I mean, we got no green screen today. We're going purple. Yeah. My favorite color. It looks good. You like it? Yeah. I yeah. Think it's a great look. Good for you. All right, now what about my face and head? Put your headset on. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't like, uh, I like one ear in. One ear in? You look like a pool DJ. Yeah, yeah. nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Towards the end of the career when he gets fat. Yeah. He's got hanging out over the turntable. He hasn't gotten women in a while, but he's still <laughs> in it for the for the women. Oh, he's in it, baby. Um, we have two amazing guests in the building. To my left, repeat offender, an absolute favorite on the show. The great Drew Dunn is in the building. Hello, hello, hello. Thank How you, you doing, for having brother? me. Good, good. good Blowing up here. online. He's got amazing YouTube uh, clips and content coming at you full speed every single week. So make sure after this episode, click over there, subscribe to Drew Dunn, let him know that we sent you. And to his left, re- coming back to the show, the great Toby McMullen in the building. What's up, bros? Thanks for having me. I got a little paranoid. I said your last name wrong there. What? Did I say your last name right? No, you nailed it. Okay. Jeez. All right. I was, I, was thinking, I was like, I don't think I've ever said this last name. So, Toby McMullen has got a brand new special out on YouTube right now. It's new, folks. It's fresh, live from the Aladdin Theater. You guys know how the Love First show is. We fucking send people over to new specials, and you comment here from the fucking Love First show. That's the gang. We're going to see it. They're going to blow it up. You ready to go viral? Uh, I've been waiting. I need it. Jesus Christ. Come over here and kiss me, baby. (laughs) (laughs) I got an amazing show this week. This week, uh, if you're listening to this on gas, I guess we'll be the only people that hear this in time. I'm uh, headlining for the first time at Zany's Chicago. Tickets are moving slow. So uh, tell a friend and uh, come on out. Love that club. I hear it's the best. It's great. great. You never been there? No, first time. Old Town? First and last time. It's a it's a very humbling club because the whole every inch of the walls is covered by comedians, like old headshots that had headlined the club doing what you're doing right now, and you recognize seven of them. (laughs) So just know you it's not shit yet. It really brings you back down when you can't find someone you recognize on a wall of a hundred comedians. You're like, oh, they've all done exactly this too. Yeah, great. Who's this Brian Ragon (laughs) fellow? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Um, Also, you know what I've decided. No more gas chat. Oh, wow. I'm still doing the episodes live, but I don't like the energy in that place. I don't like the attitude. What are they doing to you? Calling me fat, saying uh-huh. I'm lazy. There's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of comments like, Lev needs to get on Kill Tony so he can stop opening for shitty headliners. Like, I've never opened for anyone in my life. Yeah. Like, ever. Every gig I do is me. I've Nobody has ever helped me except for... I mean, <laughs> like, it, it started out as like a brag and then just got sadder. Yeah. As well. no, no, I've never just, opened for anyone. I don't have any real friends. There's nobody <laughs> giving me opportunities. So I know. I mean, I have a malignant tumor. It's all spread on my own. You know right. what I mean? It's, yeah. uh, I have my own uh, thing. And so there's a lot of, uh, I'm just, you know, what? We're, we're doing the episodes live. I might even cut that just as a fuck you. Who knows? I'm not sure you know what malignant means. You're, it's cancer. Angelina Jolie it's- <laughs> movie. Oh, yeah. Disney. Malignant. What do you think? I'm fucking stupid? Malignant. <laughs> right. What am I thinking of? What? No. Maleficent. Oh. Yeah. Ma- malignant is like it's non cancerous. There's a lot of comments saying I'm too dumb. Yeah, right. It just sounds like these people have <laughs> eyes and ears. And yeah. I've seen what you do. Is this the comment section or people walking down the streets of New York? <laughs> I don't care for it. I don't care who it is. I just don't like it. How about that? Fair Let's enough. Let's start there. Um, I think malignant is bad. I think malignant is bad. It is bad, bad yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Benign is Benign bad. is bad. I know. I, yeah. I meant to say malignant. Okay. Yeah. Listen right. here, maligners. Whoa, okay. Pay attention. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Toby's face. <laughs> I didn't say it. What are you freaking out for? <laughs> I'm not freaking out. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, it was most of the letters. Live <laughs> <laughs> live from the... Uh, we have a title now. Live from the Aladdin Theater, folks. Um, this week, we'll also... <laughs> 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 Toby just up in a spit take. Um... <laughs> 
We live this week. I lost. I lost genuine him. spit take. <laughs> Get ready, dude. Don't drink nothing on this show. This is the danger zone. <laughs> Splash Mountain, they call it. You going to do Love's Pod? Oh, you mean Sl- Splash Mountain? Um, Skank Fest this week. You guys excited in the booth? Are you guys excited? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Holy shit, that was feigned. <laughs> that was. Uh... I'm gonna be stressed about it until I get there. What do you have to do? Do you have to work? Yeah, yeah. What do you got to do? I'm in the upstairs in the podcast booth. Ooh. So people want to record their pods while they're there. Yeah. That's what I do. I see. I see. I see. I see. And but you see, I'm a nice guy. I don't make you fucking have to do that during Skank Fest. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Dude, yeah. You could. Why take advantage of the opportunity with all these comedians here to have yeah. a great show? Just... Why the hell would I do that? Why would you do that? Why not just yeah. phone it in every Monday? You're going to be sidled <laughs> up to that sweet, sweet free food in the green room, baby. Hiding <laughs> <laughs> down those fucking sandwich platters. Look, if you're not going to have the chat, somebody's going to have to make up for the negative energy on the show. And I think it's going <laughs> to... Phone it in every Monday. So I went back to doing this show live every single Monday. You Every read, single Monday. It's live, but you're not reading the chat. So what's the point? Fuck the chat! <laughs> they're, they're, you know what it is? They're all butthurt that I think Trump's a fucking retard. Oh, you, you don't like me. Tell me why you don't like me, Lev. You know what? I'm back. You're back. I like you again. You like me. You're a big fan. You've always been a. You're a big fan. You're one of my biggest fans I've ever had. I'm out again. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I look. I I don't want to get into the. You guys know where I stand on this political thing, but that's what really turned the gas chat, folks. You're telling me that the gas digital chat leans a certain way politically. You know what? I guess I am too hopeful of people because it genuinely surprised me. Wow, that's so funny. I know. I je- I've been telling people everybody you was, really didn't think it was, yeah I have told multiple comics that come on the show like oh our sh- our family's not like that right. <laughs> <laughs> little did I know yeah, you won't, you won't even read what they say to you live and you think that they're nice well that's people. all that's only like a small pocket I still sure, think sure. the average person that listens to this show is cool as fuck yeah and right. the people that do come out and live and when I meet these people I genuinely do like these people these are not like. Like, even the ones that it's, are... It's almost like people are psychopaths on the internet and then normal in real life. Huh. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It might, maybe it's the same guy. It is, man. You they're all so? sleepers. They're all sleeper agents. You, they're, they're lying right to your face. I haven't slept with an Asian in years, Toby. Okay, <laughs> live from the Aladdin. Um, <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I, but I think... This is what I think. <laughs> Wait, I'm me. I wonder if the same guy was online going, like, Lev is a lazy fat... Is also the guy at the show being like, "Hey man, I really, I really like your stuff. I'm glad it came out." Drove yeah. from Tacoma. I do think that comics get a weirder comment section than most because a lot of people just want to be funny. Yes, and the, and the easiest way to be funny online is to just say something horrible. A lot of times, someone will say something horrible, and you just say something horrible back, and they're just like, "Ha ha ha! Yeah, we got each other!" And then they move along yes. with their day. Yeah, there's no real malice. They just think they're funny. I but, just, I just don't read comments. Oh yeah, yeah. Just yeah, stay. Gotta out of get it. in there, and gauge. I, <laughs> oh, you fucking sure don't. Oh no, you yeah, definitely yeah, don't. You're no. like a Vietnam vet. You gotta I get the tunnels, yeah, man. No, I went through it. You gotta go through it too. Man. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe these. I don't read comments, people. I don't believe any of them. I will read a comment within seconds. I turn off the notifications for it. I'll go I, in there. Like if I post a video, I'll go in there once and just reply to some people that say nice things. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's the and only work I'll, I've only, ever done on myself. Yeah, and it's all I do is remember the bad ones. I don't remember mm. any of the nice things anyone says. I can still tell you a shitty thing someone said to me six years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I don't I don't know what it is with people's. I mean, it's just like <laughs> anytime you and people that comment on shit. I mean, I've never commented on a thing in my life. Yeah, like never. I'm on the internet all day for my entire life. I've never commented. I just read other people's comments. Right. I sit on Reddit, watch people's bullshit. You know, I want to hear your opinions, all this stuff. But I just don't understand the, who comments on stuff. I'll, I'll throw a comment out, but I comment like a drunk frat bro. It's really? just like it's just like LFG, bunch of exclamation points yeah. and some fire emojis. Hell yeah, dude! So yeah, what, fucking yeah bro. <laughs> so what's like a website you would comment on? Like remove like Instagram, your like, mom's OnlyFans. I'm yeah, active on there. Okay, well you're at least helping. Uh, that's a, I'm, yeah. you know I'm trying to make sure that the fair family is taken care of. There's a now they pull this up. Toby brings up a great topic. Um, this lady's got me in a chokehold on Twitter. I mean, I haven't followed a whore in so long. Oh, yeah? Si- pull up this <laughs> Cynthia Abramson on Twitter. You guys got to see what's going on here. This your lady? I mean, this is some crazy stuff. Let's see Jay Leno do this. <laughs> Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Mother of three. Yeah, she's a real whore. She's a whore. She's a whore, and she's on Twitter. <laughs> we actually uh, have her here in the studio tonight. Pull up. Uh, her name should be Cynthia Abramson or Cynthia Jade. Any chance you know how to spell that? 
I'm Cynthia? Stupid. S I N. The A B R A M S O N. Look at just my latest follow on Twitter. That might get you there quicker. Ah, this sir? Toby, prepare your cock, buddy. You're going to fucking. I'm ready. Blood Mountain, fella. I gave Blood I, Mountain. I, I did a little. I did a little trimming <laughs> recently downstairs. Yeah. I gave myself. The nicest fade, dude. Oh, really? That's nice. I mean, I could work in a Harlem barbershop this fade oh, I dude. gave my cock. Holy moly. It looks unbelievable. I ca- Is somebody I... selling DVDs in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> DVD? <laughs> yeah. Loose chicharrones and shit. Dude, I was using that la- that uh, Manscaped one. They still like, oh, you, it'll never cut your balls. Oh, it'll I lick you. Absolutely ravaged the bottom of my sack with that thing, dude. I was bleeding for days. I had to put a fucking pad in my ass <laughs> 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 to not ruin. Multiple. I've had <laughs> I've had like hernia so bad that you just have toilet paper for for a minute. But I've had that in my adult life. That was mostly a high school. Oh, thing. I get that, but the, dude, the balls was awful. Because then it's anytime something touches after, it, it just stings like t- and like. I tried to call him. I was like, hey, what's this? I see all your commercials still. Yeah. They're, they're hitting it against balloons. It's not furious. popping. I'm fucking pissed, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It's so one thing. I went, I went free ball. I was going like, yeah, you can't do nothing to me. You can't hurt me. That balloon shit is such a scam because it's it's that's a taut piece of latex. Yeah. And I got, a, I got a lumpy. It's like eyelid skin. Totally. Down there. totally. I have a really tight sack. Do you? I got a tight, plump sack. And I, and I actually don't like that it's that way. Because I prefer it was a little more loose and hey, because it gives the appearance of more penis that way. Sure, but instead it's just everything's just pushed together. It's like a bouncy house around my dick, so you ne- you can never get that fifth inch. Right. <laughs> yeah, the fifth <laughs> it's, inch. It's, it's, there's just too much surrounding. You know. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, one day your balls will drop. One day. As, I think that's funny, Drew. No, as time goes along, I'm not saying like your balls are gonna drop like you come. I know you come. Yeah, you, you tell me about it all the time. Thank but the, the <laughs> <laughs> but as you as you're older, that's the, every old guy's joke is oh I sat on my balls, my balls yeah. hit the water when I take a shit. Like it's coming. I had so friends doing that in high school, like freshman year. I had a friend that literally we just sat down and he just yeah, at the lunch table and he just went ah and then he shot up and I was like what the fuck and that's when I learned you could actually sit on your balls. I have. I will never have that issue. I mean, it's just a. My balls would just have to. It'd have to be like an octopus fitting through a small hole, like just to get through so much fat thighage, <laughs> just to get under there, you know. But the last thing I'll say about this, about the pubes situation, I sh- fully shaved my pubes one time in high school. Yeah. And I was like, this is the last. Dicks are not supposed to look like this, and I've never done that since. You can't. You can't go bare. No, it's well, crazy. Also the, the comeback is just crazy. You're just itching like a fucking psychopath on the train because you're, the top of your dick is just... It's We're an, pitching it's a, a movie called The Comeback. The Comeback. This guy shaves his pubes. <laughs> <laughs> These two weeks are hell. If you build it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think what you got to do is you got to go uh, scissor trim up, up top. That's where you go to the stylist. And stylist. then if you go to the barbershop down below, that's where you go for a, a fucking... Go a little closer down. I just go see an Indian lady and get it threaded. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. <laughs> uh, let's pull out this Cynthia Abramson horse. Speaking of coming, let's see this slut. I mean, this is for the gas fans. Don't say I never do nothing for you. Look at this lady. Look at this build. I mean, that's perplexing. I mean, keep going. Show show the lady off, Nat. Show, act like she's your girlfriend. I mean... She is a, a thick uh, lady in all the right places. Gazungas, they call it in the biz. I mean, this is just insane. I was, uh, I'm at the age now where while I'm taking a shit, I'm watching porn. And I was looking at her leaked OnlyFans stuff. And uh, I mean, what a great shit that was. Yeah, that's a fun. That's how you shit. That's so funny. It's just you checking your bank account and then typing in. Links. <laughs> <laughs> this is this ah. how I cope. This is how I get through. I mean, I don't have the nine bucks. Look at those fucking melons right there, boys. What are, you, what are we talking about? She's got the Mississippi River running from her nipple. Dude. I love <laughs> I was gonna say, She's got varicose veins in her dick. I love a titty vein. And, I mean, like, this lady could plug up the border. You think? You shove those tits in that fence. I mean, you got nobody coming in there. I think they'd come running to it. I think they'd push the wall over to get to her. I mean, come on. Is This uh, This has got to be uh, the gal of the year on the show. This has all got to be fake and enhanced, but... Oh, no do? way! You know what I'm learning? All these uh, women have kids. Oh, that's fun. Imagine that's your mommy. <laughs> I mean, what uh, this is this is the content that the folks need, you know? Right. Did I tell? Uh, rate. All right, tell me. Rate this one through ten. What do you guys think of this broad? I mean, 
it's a lot, dude. There's a lot going on there. I, I don't think she would be a fun person to to hang around with. But if no. we're talking about just uh, going in there, having some fun, I mean, 1 to 10, I'm, I'm giving her an 8-7. I think that's fair. I think eight, seven, and nine, two is the range. Yeah. But this is the thing I'm thinking is, uh, I mean, look, I'm a married man. I'm out of the game. You sure. know, I'm retired. It's what it is. The jerseys and the rafters. Yeah, they were twelve. So the 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 thing with now though is, if I ever was single, I mean, I'd be in Miami ripping lines, hiring strippers, finding escorts. I already have builds in mind. That's a top build right there. I can I say that I love the honesty. Thank you. Because for a second there, I thought you were gonna be like, I would be at, in Miami in these clubs, fucking these whores. And you're like, no, no, I'd be paying for it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what are you kidding me, dude? Yeah. yeah. I'd be the full road pay, a full weekend. <laughs> <laughs> give Get me that, that twelve hundred minimum right out the door. Give baby. me a six one redhead with some fake lips. You can pay her. Don't even give me the check. Let's oh, go. I love that you want a woman who can kiss you on your forehead. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I from the Aladdin. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, look, we're all. Are you single, Toby? I am. Yeah. He's a, he's a, see, this is a single free guy. man. He's a free. We man. should we should try and get him together. Well, I'm just severely emotionally damaged. So oh. you think so? Oh, I know so. Where did that wow. start? Oh my! About six weeks ago. No. Uh, three, <laughs> three and a half years ago or so, my girlfriend died of cancer. It really put a ah. rocket where my heart was. Were you dating Quincy Jones? What's that? Comedian Quincy Jones. No. Oh, he had a can- he had a cancer. He lived. He lived. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I, th- I thought that was sorry a- to disappoint her. I thought that was a blues musician. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> reference is this, dude? Um, damn, that sucks, man. How long are you with you with your with your ex? Uh, five years. Damn, dude, that's a route where I'm at with my chick. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's also like right around, like literally right at five years is around the age where I'm or around the time where I'm like, hey, we've been dating long enough that if she ever got cancer, I'd hang with her through the through the end of it. Yeah. Or like whatever horror, like if she was in like a wheelchair, I'd be like, yeah, I guess I can't leave now. You know what <laughs> that, I mean? That's real love. I guess I can't leave. Yeah. My, my pandemic was a real Safety Brothers movie. Damn. I didn't even know you were going through this stuff, man. Well, I don't generally talk about it, but you guys opened up a can of worms. What a fun topic we've, we've landed on here, huh, fellas? <laughs> uh, what, what, what? Uh, is this <laughs> what, uh, what kind yeah. of cancer what was what, it? Uh, what fucking wacky impression you got for this one, bro? Uh, <laughs> I have the worst. Cancer's an awful thing. <laughs> nope, nope. You can't run the Trump back. Gotta be a fresh one. I think this is because I brought up Malignant earlier. This has just been dying to burst out since. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I have the worst like person. Like that horse tits. Mm, and you took me back. I've been, uh, what was I going to say? I'm the worst person to like talk about actual... Stuff like that with because I have a friend, his grandma got cancer, and I was like, Oh shit, dude, what kind? And he's like a rectal or colon cancer, and I was like, That's the naughtiest kind. Which is just not appropriate as an initial buffer. You know what right. I mean? No, right. but that's where the that's where the best humor lives in those fucking that's that's where the that's where I do my best work is in the tunnels. We haven't talked in years and uh <laughs> 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 no, he's doing good. Tommy, we got to get you back out there, dude. You're a good guy. I'm doing okay, I guess. We'll well, let you fuck Natalie. Why didn't you tell any lady that story? You're getting sympathy, pussy. Yeah, no it's hilarious because they'll, 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 they'll be like, "Oh my god, he'd stick me. He'd stick through with. He'd stick with me through anything." And it's yeah. like, "No, no, 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 her. It, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You, not you. Mm-hmm. Never again. Tisk tisk. Never again. No, dude. Are you serious? The only if okay, never fall in love again, or like this. No, if your girl got cancer, I don't know again, if I'll have the capability one. for a very long time. But it's like it, the the only option for the best case scenario. Let's go you, to an ad. You better help. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if better help sponsored this fucking show. Oh my, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Here we go. Oh no, it's like best case scenario. You meet someone, you match up perfectly, you live your life. One of you has to watch the other one die. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. No, it's. Uh, have Let's... you tried getting cancer yourself to catch up? A bunch up, of or? times, dude. I'm sticking my head in the microwave. Nice. I'm smoking cigs again. Nothing's That's working. Mm. But here's the thing, Toby. Lunchables. Eat Lunchables. I hear that'll get you. Really? Yeah, they got lead in them now. That'll get oh you. Oh my god, that was some devastating news for you. Yeah, I haven't had. I've never was a Lunchable kid. No, too small of a portion. <laughs> You're not lying. <laughs> You're not lying, champ. Four fifty five for that fucking bullshit. Three little pizzas. I'm gonna eat at least nine, nine of these yes. fucking things. A couple crackers and cheese. Come on, shot of Capri Sun. <laughs> they need a lunch. Um. I, I think statistically, you're very unlikely to have this happen to you twice. So I'd keep an open mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or it's the only thing that will happen to him. Well, here's the thing. So my, um, I have a uh, somebody in my life. Their dad was uh, dating a woman, right, for many years. She unexpectedly passed away. 
So then he, like, after all this searching, he found a new woman who was a great woman, finally. Yeah. Then she got a terrible medical condition and passed away. So, like, it, hap- it, it he did happen to him twice, and he thinks he might be cursed, but... Yeah, it's like the opposite of good luck Chuck. Yeah. But he's got an amazing uh, family and, and kids and all that stuff who are doing great, and, you know... That's good. It balances so, out. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, I got a cat. I'm chilling. Yeah. I mean, but dude, don't waste these good years, Toby. You're 22 years old. I know. You've got dick to sling. A couple of years, I'll be able to rent a car and everything. I uh, Dude, if I, I mean, how are you not plowing escorts, buddy? Well, easily. <laughs> I'm, I'm due for Not Uber everyone right wants to just fuck hookers all the time. Uh, that, also, I think it's a married man's game. What, you, you, you wouldn't bang some escorts out? No. Oh, no, I got no interest in that. I think you know your eight month pregnant wife is watching. She would never watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> she was no we way. got the new lighting. What do you mean? It's purple. Uh, yeah, that's for her. That's, that's what I need in my life. I need to watch some woman's eyes glaze over while I'm mm. inside of her and watch her just steal my watch on the way out. I love glaze. <laughs> <laughs> You do, you mm, crispy mm, mm, creams mm, mm. love. I, I'm not. I, I, I'm just piling on here. You're not even that fat. No, he's not. He's working no, on it. Fat. He's in what the middle of a weight loss me? challenge right now. What about you? Pig. Me working on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like this. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I mean it is the pot calling the kettle fat. Well, right. here, I mean, here's, Drew is a, here's Drew's a piece of shit, isn't he? Uh, I, shit. <laughs> I know exactly what I am. It's called deflecting. Uh, <laughs> also, if Lev wins his weight loss challenge, he'll still be sixty pounds more than me. So I can talk a little shit. What do you weigh? Uh, oh. uh, right now, I'm 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 probably like two forty right now. Okay, that ain't great. What about you? Don't worry about where I'm at, dude. I'm, I'm probably three twenty. Yeah. Three no way. 320, yeah. Dude, I'm a beluga of a person. And the challenge is... Are you just spanked up under there? It's dense. He's very dense. <laughs> He's like tungsten. I'm Harvey Dent. <laughs> <laughs> tungsten. It's <laughs> very fucking one cube. Is that. <laughs> I'm like what the Autobots are trying to protect. Oh, just my God. Big glowing Get cube. The God, cube. if any of these listeners could read or knew anything about science, they would love that. There's a few in there, Toby. There's a few in there that can read their own stuff. Yeah, they're all... <laughs> it's just their own stuff. Yeah. Oh, boy. What a coffin have I built for myself in my old age, you know, yeah. fellas? An extra large one. Yeah, this is fun. Come be me to my friend. Podcast a, is the a best. A double extra large one, actually. <laughs> I would actually need a 2XL. Toby, du- double <laughs> X is... What was that? Are you going to Skankfest? I'm not. What the fuck, dude? First I'm one not. I'm missing since the one in New York. What, are you going to assassinate the president or something? I mean, that's a crazy assumption. What yeah. else are you gonna do? I well, I would. I'm gonna try. Yeah, we I mean, don't even know who the president is yet. We have to wait <laughs> yeah, and see who be become. You can't assassinate oh, Biden true, now. True, What's the true. point? Yeah. Do you see him just yelling? He couldn't remember who was next. And he's like, "Who's next? Who's next?" No. Like like a host that forgot the list. Oh, <laughs> he, that's he was right. introducing the prime minister of India. It's like, who who am I? Who is it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, the guy is. It's he. She should be allowed to retire. Okay, this early. guy's great. You're gonna love him. He's yeah. never heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's an old. It's. I mean, I cannot believe they tried to run him a second time. It's just cruelty to animals at that point. That is. Oh uh, yeah. Well, it's the first time I've seen him in a while. I was wondering what he what he's been up to because it's all. It's just been all Kamala and Trump for the last few months. I feel like we forgot that Joe was still president. Fucking not in my world, bro. Oh, yeah? I've completely isolated myself from any of that shit. It's unbelievable. That's good. Really. My whole algorithm, it's just, it's a 14-year-old boy's wet dream. Uh, really? It's, it's just fucking skateboarding and video games. And Fuck, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. that shit. I like that. Mine is all whores and... Uh... I wonder why. <laughs> you're getting your fucking, you're getting it all fed to you. I mean, Andy just looked it up and said it out loud into a microphone like eight times. You're just going to get more whores now. Bro, they are more transparent about that than ever. I mean, the second anyone says anything, my fucking Twitter, Instagram shows me exactly that. And I'm pretty sure I have microphone access off on these things. It is fucking insane. It's like there's no more trying to hide it. There's no more, oh, we'll pull it up in three days. Yeah, yeah. It is right there. Well, they wanted to do it immediately before, but the tech wasn't as good. And now the AIs are all fucking smart, and they're better at listening to you than a human. And they'll just pick up on a word and be like, yeah, fucking sell them that. Yeah, get them this. That Golf is a very clubs. good point. It's yeah. better than listening to you than people. Yeah. People don't listen to shit. Well, and that thing's only listening for certain words and trying trying to put every word and sentence you do in a box and then determine what they can sell you based on that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Double stuff. LOL. What, what do you? What do I want my algorithm to be? For a while, certainly my, not gay porn. 
For a while, I had like uh, <laughs> gay porn is bad. Who hey, don't I'll, t- like I'll that. tell you what I really don't like is gay porn. Right. You yeah. Think that'll help if I whisper the other parts, or do you think it'll pick that up? Get specific on the type of gay porn that you like. So, you... Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, give t- me the Mark Robinson. <laughs> TikTok was like is like the apex predator of social media, and just just wanton disregard for how they access and use all of your information. Right. And the rest of Silicon, I mean, everyone was like, "Oh, we don't <clears> give a fuck" when they were trying to ban it. Yeah. And yeah. then the rest of Silicon Valley was like. Oh, word? Yeah. Okay. Game yeah. on. Silicon Valley sounds like a place for one of those sexy toys. Yeah. Yeah, or fake tits. Mm. Yeah. Which Where do they great. make them out of nowadays? A lot of stuff. Tungsten. Tungsten, <laughs> depending on how dense you are. I think that's what that lady's built out of. That was fucking... Whew. You think those are fake tits? I th- Yes. I think. Do she... you think those are real? <laughs> No, but they do. I got some na- knives. I'd love to sell you. Wait, wait, wait. Pull it back up because they do have a real natural no, hang. And Lev, hang to come them. on. Here's what I think she did. This why tits I, that big don't come with I a think, stomach that flat. It's physically impossible. You I, might I, have a point, but can I just? All right, look. Impossible. F- keep dude. scrolling. Keep scrolling. Let's see some other angles. Here's where she's smart. This would separate. Look, scroll back up. Scroll back That's up. That's a fake ass and fake tits. No, look. Man. Hang on a second. Look at where the top of the tits starts. That skin hang. This is where she's smart. She left a little bit. Of like natural hang yeah, well, to make it look real enough. I think she had big tits already, and then she put some underneath there. Yes, to make it so it's, they look real. But then there's also like a softball in the middle of it's it. It's like Nas in a fucking you know Nissan Altima or whatever a fast car is. I don't know shit about cars. Yeah, rappers love those Nissan Altimas. I mean, her tits are bigger than her actual head. It, it doesn't even make any sense. That's her, the perfect it's woman. Fake. Her back has got to be in shambles. Yeah, after I get through it, I'm saying. What, all four and a half? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is the other you issue with my fantasy. With an ass that thing. That's the thing. That's this, I know that I could not fuck this woman in any in any way that would do her any good or service. I mean, that's a tough look. If you got to be like, can you can you spread your cheeks for me? Yeah, yeah I mean, I I could probably. <laughs> I need you upside down. <laughs> There's too much to fuck past. I mean, I you know what I mean? It's the, it's gonna you, be. You need like ratchet straps and bungee cords to get that thing out of the way, dude. <laughs> like if a girl tried to give me a tit job, there'd be like no dick sticking out of the top. It right. would just be lost in the blobbage, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's a Bonnie Iver album. Lost, lost in the, the blobbage. Blob- <laughs> <laughs> it's about his fat ex. <laughs> that pig. Um... This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. So today I realized... I did something today that uh, I love so much. What's that? Um, I put on headphones. Full blast. You know what I love about you, Lev? Go ahead. As a host of a show? Yes. Most people, when they got nothing, they try to hide it. But not you. No, man. You're like, like, all right, big topic? Put on some headphones. This is the plan. This is the plan. This is literally written down. It's all doodles. It's just, I think I just started drawing her tits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just really like a big sperm on this thing. I don't know yeah. what that is. Um, look, it says right here, walking down the street with headphones. This is so, this is what I realized I need to be doing is I need to be my favorite. I think my comfort place, my place where I like to fart come, come. is having headphones on, walking down the street, just enjoying New York City at a quick pace. I mean that's my favorite activity. I think. Yeah, it rules. And I'm I'm one of these assholes that sings the music out loud. No, that yeah. you can't be doing that. Yeah, I'm that singing guy. it. It's mostly rap. Okay. And, and I don't hardcore know, and uh, nothing too crazy. Sure. You know, but you're but saying every word. Not every word, but I, you know, I'm saying <laughs> no, the he's end. got a he's got pizza in his mouth, so yeah. he can't get it all out. <laughs> The only word he says is the N word. <laughs> also, also, <laughs> <laughs> it's no. better. It's better than being the guy who's playing it out of his phone or his speaker walking down the street. That is that. crazy. That's to crazy me. to me. That's insane. But sitting in a Chipotle, putting on a show for out of the day. out of the out of the f- phone stinks. But the guy with the speaker can be a fun vibe. If you're in a park and you like the music, which is one out of ten times that happens, yeah, it's usually not the time, Latino. Well, also like if, <laughs> I, I I don't want to. I want to hear what I want, or I want to hear the city and the, everything else that's happening. I don't want to hear your shitty fucking Spotify playlist yeah. that, that you listen to every day. Like, mix it up. If, if you're a DJ, you're mixing shit up, or you're playing a song out of a speaker. I'm all in. I love when yeah. I see a guy like come on with a trumpet or a saxophone on the train. I like that shit. too. I like, I like that, too. but 
I don't like you singing walking down the street like you're on Sesame Street. I understand it's wrong. <laughs> it's crazy. I understand it's wrong, but I just can't help it. Yeah. I just, I like, I have to do it. Now you find peace in that. So you're just walking fast down the street, yes. just pushing Who's, people to the side. That's my peace. That's my, yes, exactly. Who's been in the rotation recently? I was listening to Isaiah Rashad today, Bonnie Iver. The fall's coming. So this is where I like, I like kind of saddy, soulish music. Yeah, that's why I could never play my music out loud. People would be like, oh, this guy's going to fucking jump in front of this train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cry for help. Just, just all, everything I listen to is guys really screaming about a lady they met one time. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's like, uh, it's like my smoking. It's like this is my negative impact on society. As I sure. walk around, I say, I'll say a few. I'm not like fully singing, you know, slam. I can't sing, so I'm not doing that. But there's a couple little, you know, I might catch a melody here and there. Right. I know it's wrong, but I just like doing it. Ladies, what do you think of this? Of you playing or me playing? Uh, what do you think of people who sing their music out loud? I do it, so I can't judge. There we go. Exactly. You know what I think it is? I come up. I come from loud, shitty immigrants. Right. We're loud people. I mean, our parties are big parties. What's, your, what's your background? Russian Jews. Oh, spicy combo. Yeah, the lowliest of the Jews. Oy vey. I know. So, um, I, think that, I think that's what it is. It's an immigranty loud group, and I think that's how I got to kind of get right. it out, you know? Sure. Is that why you're so big? Because you're eating for Jew? Come on. What are we doing? Like a pregnant lady? <laughs> what up? Come on. Jew. I like that. Come on. A little wordplay in the morning? I like that. I woke up at 4.30 in the afternoon today. <laughs> nice. So you're sharp right now. Really oh, hard. man. This you're is post prime. first cup of coffee, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're having a good time. Man, to uh, Nat, uh, pull up an escort site. Let's find Toby something to do today. Let's for sure not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's let's keep it to content that can go on fucking YouTube. I'm trying to plug dude, a goddamn... Cares, subscribe man. to my channel. I'm who taking. gives a shit, dude? Who cares? It's all, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's just your career and goals and dreams. Yeah, you know, Who cares, you know, dude? He's got doodles to go it's over. Just a decade plus of backbreaking work. Have you seen this? <laughs> I'm like if Jay Leto had brain damage. Yeah. Like, Have you seen this? It's a, wo it's a woman, and I draw her boobs. Right I do her tits. <laughs> <laughs> he has two big reasons why you're on the show. Today. You're the only two guys alive who still think a Jay Leto impression is viable. I think it's funny. <laughs> it's I'm only doing it because he brings it up. I, <laughs> I like it. I saw him live actually a couple of years ago. It was, it was actually a great show. Really? Yeah, he did like he did two hours, no opener. And he did probably about an hour of like monologue jokes yeah. from like Clinton or, or the first Bush <laughs> all the way to the modern day. And that's, then, that's a horrible show. No, that's not what this is. No, and then he did bits. And then he did like actual jokes and stories and stuff. And it was great. It was a great show. I, I heard that the way he opens a show is he goes, have you seen this? And then he unzips his cock. Yeah. yeah. It was a, it's a great opener. Dick. It's yeah. hard yeah. to hear all of his bits over the sound of everyone in the audience opening Werther's Originals. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking geriatrics. <laughs> Crinkling. <laughs> Uh, you're going to disrupt the show. Uh... <laughs> He's just in the crowd looking for it. <laughs> We're going to have an intermission for some caramels here. <laughs> yeah, take one and pass uh, the tray. Take one, pass it around. Listen. I might have been wrong about the little stuff. <laughs> he kind of rules, fun. man. He kind of rules. Yeah. Now he just does whatever he wants. Just drives cars. Yeah. Probably banging escorts. That big giant head. Yeah. Don't you think that once your lady's like over forty-two, you sh she should just let you fuck other women? N no. Are you just trying to like workshop? He's your, just trying to. You're like <laughs> your plan for tonight when you come home, babe. <laughs> Here's what well, you know, it's up to her to keep it together. No, but I'm just saying, like, let's be let's wild. Be real wild here, man. statement from both. Dude, from if I, this take from two literal blobs that have legs and arms. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. No, but here, like, don't you think I'm onto something here? That like there should be an expiration date on your. Le okay, if I'm faithful to you, I never cheated on you. We make it to forty something. You know, I feel like I deserve to fuck something else. Right. Every once in a while. That's why the divorce rate is 50%. Correct. <laughs> it's honestly high. Because a lot of guys feel that too, and then they do it. And then the lady turns out not that cool with it. Yeah, so they're wrong. Like, this is the thing. They're being unreasonable. <laughs> I don't think so. They're be that's not how a man is built. Tiana, way in here. Would you let her do it? She should do it right now. Absolutely then. not. Are you fucking crazy pig <laughs> exactly. or what? She should be able to do it right now. No. Then, Women don't want to fuck more than one person for the rest of their lives. Genetically, it's, you think. It's programmed. Just said it. It's true now. Wow. 
How you like that? That's good. You know what, ladies? Don't weigh in. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Just take that as a fact. Uh, <laughs> Everything you say is true, love. Thank you. Look at that. Thank you so much. No, what do you think, Tiana? Would you would you ever give up if you're with somebody twenty years married that everything's working out great? He can't get one Florida blow job. Um, if he wants to, I I need a good case. I need a like so my blow jobs aren't good enough. Mm. That's nothing to do with you. Your blowjobs are great, Tiana. No, everybody's you talking want to about step them. Out on my blowjobs, Lev. <laughs> yeah, but see, this is what happens. It becomes an insecurity thing right away. <laughs> this is the problem. This so is... then, if you get a blowjob, I'm getting my pussy ate by somebody else. Exactly. It, it, you got to go tit for tat. And then they go that. to unfairness. Well, now you're a swinger, and that's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's that, there's a world of that. That's you know what? I love, world, the, ang- the, I, I love the angle of you're really making me cheating on you all about you, and that's not very. You know cool. what? I, 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 <laughs> that's I, kind I, of bullshit. I'll tell you what. I could see this. If you can find somebody that wants to eat your 42 year old pussy, have at it. Oh, so they're out there. That's <laughs> they're everyone. fucking everywhere. Yeah. I'm Without kidding. question. I'm joking, folks. It's a satirical show. Right. <laughs> Not all this stuff is factual. <laughs> right. If the purple light's on. Yeah. You know we're joking. We're having a goof. <laughs> the purple light does make it feel like a massage parlor where an HJ could pop off. You know what's crazy? I live next to a massage parlor. Tiny and Joe Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> sorry don't you do it i know what you're gonna do next and don't you dare i don't know what i'm gonna do next how do you know what i'm gonna do next i thought you were gonna plug my shit <laughs> <laughs> wait what do you mean <laughs> um <coughs> no so anyways there's this place next to me where the chinese are jerking fellas off right if i rub your dick yeah. you know they went out of business that's yeah. It's tough in this economy. Inflation. I never thought that would happen ever, and I think I know what happened. The sidewalk around that business went into construction, and that's why they're out of business. You think hand jobs are that fragile? Well, it depending on walking traffic, I would assume. I should have known because they were outside, kind of barking, <laughs> like like trying to get people to come to the late show. Literally, they were outside. Like <laughs> everybody's everybody's in there getting jerked off. We got Chris Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Tina Fey's coming by. <laughs> Amy Schumer's in there. <laughs> Amy Schumer in there right now. Yeah, but that like there, but you go, you know, it's. I never thought that. I thought that's a recession-proof business. Right. I thought that's not going anywhere. That's like cockroaches. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the problem is with hand jobs is you can do it. Like you have to buy milk. What is you this, can, a motivational show? Oh, I'm, listen here. <laughs> if you want to come, you can do it yourself. You don't need some Asian lady to do it. But they're willing to do more than that, Drew. These are brothels. These are Cambodian sex whores. Right. Right. But that, but again, in this economy, people don't have a lot of pocket change. You know, mm. They're not walking around with the 10, 20, 100 bucks in their pocket to, to get blown. They go, you know what? I got to get groceries and then I'll just come at my house. If, yeah. if you're paying $20 for a blowjob, oh you deserve... God. Everything that happens to your dick, dude. But dude, yeah. inflation is going to be mangled. A blowjob now from a Chinese is, is rather expensive. I mean, you're, we're talking 100, 80, 200 bucks. Yeah, but it comes with a free DVD. Come with Rush Hour 3. Come <laughs> 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 <Why>, on, man. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, man. Dude, you pack uh, a Paul Mall. You want Rolex? <laughs> <laughs> you just, after you're done, they just put a Rolex around your yeah, dick. Just, a uh, fake Rolex. There you go. I got to get my Zins. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. We got a zinner in the building. Zinner in the building. I don't really like the door. <laughs> <laughs> the seltzer of the uh, tobacco. Does he know we have care. a free, uh, we should have a bunch of free ones of those. Are they still around? They yeah, the uh, Zimas. Natalie, what do you think? Should I be allowed, if I make it to 45? A big if. You're asking me at the wrong time because I was in such a long relationship that I'm very uh, disillusioned with monogamy at the moment so i'm like yeah fuck around i don't give a shit but also i would want to do that also i think that's i think okay look i think for a woman to want to fuck other people is disgusting (laughs) i really do and i think this is and i think you should be stoned you should have to smoke so much weed man you do have some russian in you huh yeah you're wearing the wrong clothes for this (laughs) you should be wearing some sort of gown no i think it's just crazy because that's not how women's brains are built so that means you're one of the broken ones and we should discard you from society. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're goofing. <laughs> we're joking, folks. No, I don't know. I wonder if I would. 
Can I slap one of those in? Here's the problem. Right. I think mentally I could get past, if I was 45, my chick was 45, I think maybe mentally I could get past it in some way. But I think that aside from active thinking, my subconscious thinking would now just look at my partner and see a whore. If another dick's fell on. If, if well, especially hit with... since every other dick on the planet is bigger than yours. So it's right. like... Yes, they're hitting. They're hitting. I don't want them to hurt her. Yeah, they're they're hitting new ground. It's like they're heading west in America, <laughs> <laughs> uncharted territory. Oh, there's gold in there. Yeah. Uh, the other day, my girlfriend, my girlfriend was blowing me, and I was thinking about my dick, and I was like, I, I bet my dick has never been uncomfortable. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's never been. It's never pushed too far, or oh, I thought you meant like you're to yourself. Yeah, no, to no. another person. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, I think if I flash someone, they still wouldn't be all that put off. They'd be like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so. Funny. You you whip you rip over the trench coat, and they're just squinting, putting what on glasses. Like, His balls are so smooth. Okay, and okay, we charge you half. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's awesome. They all give discounts. <laughs> Chubby, have you ever had a Chinese pull on your pecker? I have not. <laughs> no. I've stuck my dick in Lo Mein once. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. What was that Lo Mein's name? Pork Lo Mein. <laughs> that was her name. He was a Lo Mein. Right. No, I'm kidding. It was Gucci Mane. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Gucci Mane needs a a ghost kitchen online only Grubhub delivery service of Lo Mein. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good I, idea. I would eat Gucci Mane all day. Gucci Mane lo mein. That's a really good idea. When you go to Coachella and shit, there's all these like sponsor like uh, Bun B, I think. Oh, I love Bun B. I think he, it might be him or somebody. They have like a burger business now. It's doing pretty well. It's they like, all do. Yeah, I think Drake, maybe Red had a chicken tenders thing. They're yeah, all yeah. Wrap ra- snacks. I feel like was one of the first ones to do that. Yeah, and then yeah. now now they all do it. I mean, even fucking every YouTuber's got one. There's a new Lunchable now. That's like Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and. KSI or something like that. That's like a prime, a chocolate bar, and still shitty pizzas. Yeah, Mr. Beast is getting sued by fucking everybody now. That guy is he less? Are his videos getting less views nowadays? Is Fuck he, no, no, right? No. He's actually he's, he's not hundreds of millions anytime he uploads, and he's uploading in like thirty different languages. That he could take a few lawsuits. I think it's inevitable when you're yeah. that big that someone's going to try and yeah. It's take like it's like you. it's like trying to stop a train. It's already got the momentum. It's so fucking powerful. Yeah. He's like he's probably one of the most famous people on earth right now. Which is so crazy. Yeah, it's like, like a, it's like him and Taylor Swift. Yeah, for sure. He is. It's a, he's a guy with zero charisma. You think? I, I think, think he's so. Char- I think he's charismatic. I, th- I don't think you could have what he has without being charismatic. He's not charismatic to you. I don't think he he's is. charismatic to, to to like everyone younger than us. He's I, like the Elon. He's taking like an Elon Musk approach to YouTube, where he's just trying to optimize everything and be perfect and run it like a machine. And that's a lot of the lawsuits now. Is he was running it the way Elon was running SpaceX? Like it was basically, um, you should be working as hard as me, the CEO. And if you're not, yeah, then yeah. why are you working for me? So he would just run people into the ground and then find a new guy to do the job. It's also apparently the only thing he ever talked or is interested about in his personal life is just algorithm algorithm how yeah. do we amplify how do we amplify yeah he's obsessed he's upset he's locked into that world and i, I mean he's it's a fucking nightmare it's hang, crazy dude. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine i know that. comics like that and it's just brutal like i don't want to sit and talk to you yeah about who this. are you who are you as a person yeah. you know but okay so let's say mr beast had a wife who's like 45 <laughs> <laughs> with all he's earned with all the money he's made sure should he be able to go to florida get the dick pool yeah yeah, he should. Yeah. You got to earn that. What's the Okay, so now we you bring up an interesting topic. Okay. What's the amount of income you have to make? All right, ladies, this is for you to answer. <laughs> What's the amount of income your man has to bring home? And remember, you're representing all women on earth right now. Every last one of those sluts. Jeez. To be able to for him to be able to get a once every 8 months a little a little pussy on the side. It, like I said that like a southern prison yeah, order. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the side. Your your honor. <laughs> Lights out at ten. <laughs> pussy on the side once a month. I take the pussy on the side, please. <laughs> what do you think, ladies? I mean, like, what's the what's the figure? Seven hundred fifty thousand. Wait, I have a. It, it, does that mean like how much to like be allowed to do it, or how much until other women want to fuck you? No, how much side? to be allowed to do it? Jaw mm. yank redemption. Does that work? I don't think so. No, I think I it's Jaw like... Yank Summers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke for no one. <laughs> they both were. I can't believe. It. Thank you for jumping on that grenade with me. I really appreciate You're that. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. 
<laughs> Good, Natalie. My standards are too low. It's going to be an embarrassing number. Minimum wage? What, like 60000 No, I was going to say, like, what, what did you say, Seven fifty. I was shooting high. I was going to say, like... Just six figures in general. Like 100K? Like 200, 200 in New York City? It's a bricklayer. Like 250 or something It's like a that. pipe layer, Toby. <laughs> 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 oh, now we're kicking with gas. Now we are kicking with gas. I mean, should we do the rest of the show, Southern? Well, there's only one white dude in the goddamn team. You gone. went all the way. I yeah. Mean, well, yeah, you, you went to the there's bayou. There's no, yeah, man, man, nowhere more down. south. We, want, we can go by him, know me, my name <laughs> Nat, some teeth for Drew, please. Yeah, I'm going to give him love my, my teeth. Can I get some water, please? I would love some water, too, actually. Yeah, I'll take some. I feel no. horrible asking, but I have to. You don't feel horrible at all. I do. What do you know? Oh, thank you. Yeah, just bring, bring me a new one. I never reuse a cup. It's very wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely <laughs> You're really part of the problem here. Never <laughs> reuse a cup. Well, look like Dave Smith. Come on, folks. <laughs> I love Toby's just astonishment of the show. This is, it's about being unprepared. It's about having a silly goose time. No, it's I'm about, having I'm having fun. I just I have there. no poker face. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Big fat retard. <laughs> really funny. I thought that was the show. Really I thought I was doing the show. No, class. That was pure class. Nice. If yeah. I had done it with a Chinese accent, it would have been better. Let's throw out the other sh- the show titles we rejected. Can we let's just take a quick breather? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it'll be all through your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else would it be through the hole in my back? Oh, I don't think so, Toby. That's pretty good. Jesus. <laughs> What'd you bring? What topics did you bring? <laughs> Let me guess. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I don't leave house without familiar with my stuff. Yeah. I went yeah. golfing yesterday with my lady. Friend. How's that going? I shot twenty over on a par three. On just one par three? Chip and putt in Queens? <laughs> Chip and putt in Queens. Yeah. Fun Sorry. course. Chip and Dale's in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't be golfing there. It's a different kind of getting the ball in the hole. Uh, you already know, Drew. Um uh, twenty over on a par three. I mean, I fucking suck big donkey balls, dude. But yeah. was was it mostly putting though, or are you getting to the green? I'm hitting, I'm getting, dude, I've gotten worse. Yeah. That ha- happened to me too. This is the fucked up thing. My first couple times out, first time out, dog shit, probably 15 over. Second time out, I was playing with two balls and just playing pretty honestly. But sometimes I'd use the best of the two. Of course. But I mean, I was averaging. I was getting, I had seven pars on 18 holes. I was like, I'm fucking balling today, right. you know, for a yeah. scrub. Then yeah. it, now I'm in the down slope. I'm like, no, I suck big dicks. Well, and you had did you have friends with you to keep you honest the other the only times that you did poorly? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to do really well in golf when you lie. When, when you're not honest with yourself, yeah, I fucking hit it right there. No, I didn't hit that ball. No, it, no, I mean I was because I would do that when I first started, where I was just like, no, I didn't hit it like that, and I drop it off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how I fucking hit it right there. I, I fucking I have no <laughs> ego about it. I'm just like, uh, you got to suck to get better. Yeah, no. Now I want to get better. Now you, you yeah. have to be honest because then you c- can really track when you are getting better. Then it feels good. Yeah. Well, when you just lie to yourself all the time, it's Danny Polishuk's bitch ass fucked my whole shit up, man. I just played with him the other day. Yeah, great guy. Motherfucker, though. What happened? I, I had a I had a membership at this like simulator spot in Midtown. Okay, and I was going like three times a week, and I hit up Danny. I was like, "Come by, we'll hit some balls." And he did that fucking thing that every douche does, where he's watching my swing, and he just goes, "Ah, your grip." He did this to me. I be- he he's fucking up everybody. He did that. <laughs> he's a fucking terrorist. This guy ruining everybody's good time. He's telling you to put it more in the fucking fingers, and the next thing you know, you're shooting like a jackass. Now you're. Fucking shank into the right. You think it's part of his game plan? Because I was playing against him. That could be part of it. I, to take do, it I think I think he's trying to sabotage everybody so he can be the best guy out there. Well, I'll but tell you who sucks. whooped his ass was uh, <laughs> Fat Pat Samaha. Really? One over par on 18 holes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, not bad at all. Kid's nice with it. I him. think you got to be shaped like a ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why aren't you great? Why aren't I great? See, I brought it to me. What? Oh, sorry, dude. Can I talk to you in the other room? Yeah, let's go outside. <laughs> then we can take another breather when you come back in. go to another studio and the mics are on. <laughs> Look, it's all jokes, but I can't have you talking to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of Toby. <laughs> I'm trying to be I want athlete. him to think I'm cool. <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
nothing but disrespect in here today, boys. I smell it. That's yeah, it's a pretty good time. I see it. I smell it. I, I didn't it. come here with a positive energy. What, what do you want me to tell you? How cute you are? You fucking. The first thing you said was you insulted my head. What are, as the show started? You, you said, asked. You opened the gate. What am I supposed I wasn't to say? Talking about you my like head. the new look? Yeah. No, I like the lights. The lights are great. That's what I was asking. Okay, well you should be more specific. There's a new movie in theaters, folks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this, entertainment tonight? <laughs> it is some people's entertainment tonight, actually. Fair some enough. people are tuning into this. Okay. Jesus. There's a new movie out called The Substance. Okay. People yeah. are saying there's something to it. They're saying there's, some, there's something of substance there. <laughs> All that for this. <laughs> actually, I was like, I'm even going to deliver it bad. <laughs> It's like a horror movie. Right? No, but this is so. This is the thing. I heard this movie's phenomenal, but I realize now as I'm getting older and gayer, mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the movies anymore. Bad take, but also fun. not not. I mean, you're not wrong though. I get it, but when you go, it's still fun. It's still fun. It's exactly what it used to be. The, you the, overpay for everything. You get a snack. You sit and the, watch. The, you got to go. It sucks. You got to pay. You got to do the premium. You got to go IMAX or Dolby. You got to yep. go somewhere where there's real sharp in. I'm a, such a dork. I only go to show. one theater, and it's the best one in New York. Which one? Lincoln Square. Oh, it's the maybe the best movie theater in America. That's right. Wow. That's where I go. It's unbelievable. It's great. Wide doorways. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, beep, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Back How are the a seats? Uh, are good. they the lay back, the recline ones? Or they have they... a full, yeah. You could, you know. It's, they, I, it's not like a Nighthawk. I hate those where it's just too couchy. Yeah, it's no good. Yeah. It's I just... fall asleep now. If, it's, if I'm too comfortable in the movie theater, I'll just start drifting away if it's not a good movie. Really? Yeah. Because there's very few movies I get like excited to go yeah. see. I think that's part of the problem with not wanting to go to the movies is there's nothing that you're like, I want I got to go see that. It's yeah. like, it's, it's, a, it's a tough sell. I got a nice sound bar. I got a little big old 4K TV. That's what I'm saying. These that's projectors great. at Regal's and shit, the Regal in my hood, they, they, it's a 2K image. It sounds like shit. Yeah. You know, why would yeah. I pay 40 bucks? Why would I leave my fucking house? I right. have to work every night, seven days a week. I fucking work like a slave. Yeah, for like 90 for minutes. For like for 14 <laughs> minutes a day. I, I'm i like a slave. Right. Yeah, just like a slave. <laughs> Lean into that. What else What else makes it like a slave? Uh, these, clips won't, these clips won't make themselves. I got to yeah. leave my house, take an Uber to work, 14 right. minutes of hard labor like a yeah. slave. 14 minutes of sleep. 14, <laughs> 14 <laughs> minutes of 12 minutes of sleep. 12 minutes of sleep. It's so, it's so, it's so, you're so fucking lazy. You're shaving. You never hit, do your full time. You're only doing full time. Yeah. You get that light, you're out, He's bro. Out. Light me early. <laughs> um, no, but this is the thing is I'm, I work every goddamn fucking motherfucking night. So, and I'm not complaining. Sure. I'm happy. It's These great. are my years to, to, to do it up to work. You know How old are you? From the headphones, he's <laughs> 19. <laughs> he's 22 in a visa. <laughs> I took a pill in a visa. That's what I'm singing down, down the street. The street. I've been, my algorithm has been really pumping me with like a bunch of EDM shit. Yeah. Like just like footage of raves and stuff. Nice. And I finally understand why people like it. Molly, dude. Well, yes, that and like I'm I'm not trying to learn any more lyrics for yeah, the rest yeah. of my fucking yeah, life. Dude. Well, see, that's, that's a fair. world for you to get into right now. Twenty two, single, like the the rave EDM <laughs> world. I agree. Get your dick sucked by a girl with face paint. I mean, sure, yeah. Toby looks like a guy who does it up at Burning Man. Totally. Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm, but I, but I also have the vibe of like, I, if you skydive in, you don't gotta pay, dude. Once you're yeah. on the playa, they can't kick yeah. you out, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, would you train Hamas? I mean, come on, folks. Um, <laughs> I'm, I didn't mean people that. forget about the paragliding. People forget about that. They you forget know? about the paragliding. Have you seen those? Have you seen that? Have you seen the paragliders? They're drinking Mountain Dew and then coming to festivals. I'm due to do some Molly. Do to do. Last time I did MDMA, I looked at my buddy on the couch and I was like, "Human beings are not supposed to feel this." this yeah, but you, what are you doing around couches? This is no good, dude. What are you doing around couches? You got to be at a rave on that shit. You got to yeah. be at a show. Yeah. Good God, you would be the sweatiest man at that rave. Oh yeah, it rules. It rules. I've never done Molly. Never done MDMA. Just, just slanging out wet hugs left and right, bro. Dude, after your wife has... I love you, love you man. <laughs> oh, It's the greatest thing on earth. After your wife has this kid, dude, you guys have to do it together. Do you think? 
Do I think? And just leave our no. child by Oh, my themselves? God, you're married. Oh, thank Christ. When you said you were having a kid Oh, no, earlier, yeah, married. I'm the first person in my family history to have a kid when I want one. Yeah, I was going to be like, I was like, is this a oopsies? Or? No, no, yeah, this is plain. It's, it's called we were going to get health insurance, and we didn't want to not use it while we're paying for it, so we just had... <laughs> so you <just> <laughs> shooting the club up. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> exactly. Like, like, we're going to pay for this. I'm going to start I'm coming lazy. inside. Yeah. Dude, you got to fucking, you got to do Molly together. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, it's li- it's legitimately, like, life-changing. Yeah, I don't know if I want that. So, but it's life. It's nothing but positive. It's nothing but positive. Fine. It's not like acid where it might go bad or you might risk it or you got to look inside. It's nothing but every wall comes down and you and your wife love the first honest conversation you've had in years. You think? Uh, you think yeah, you can talk very honestly. You can <laughs> no, also do no, that like with you, mushrooms. You'll, it'll be like every wall, co- every vulnerability wall comes down and all the things you wish you could say. Every I love you, you didn't say. Yeah. You can lay it on. I get that, but we're a pretty like she's the person I do that with she already. She hates you, man. Yeah, I know. She's pretty. She has her podcast about it. <laughs> <laughs> she's very open. Your wife has a podcast? No, no. Fucking <laughs> 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 nightmare. No, that would be terrible. No, but this you might have a chance to win her back with this stuff. You think? Yeah, because it's slipping away. <laughs> That's right. She's just not a fan of you. Right. Right. That's right. Do we have a call? <laughs> what is that? Up from the phone lines? Who's that? <laughs> Nat, pick it up. Hello, it's for you. I mean, what a what a what a, a plane crash this riff has been. Yeah, oh, no, God. Really. I was like, <laughs> it really wasn't going anywhere. I, I was couldn't... like, if this show has live call-ins, we should have been leaning in on that. Yeah, I actually just way wanted sooner. to. I actually just wanted to see how Natalie would handle that. I just wanted to see if she'd start riffing on a phone call, but she did not. No, no, it's up to us to make the content. That's kind of that's right. The point of the show. That's what I agree. It's a very blue hoodie. <laughs> He's really got nothing left <laughs> on that paper, dude. No, I got shit. He didn't have anything to begin with. He's just doing Harry shit, Mac yeah. as a podcast. I can draw whatever I want. <laughs> He's drawing. He's over there drawing Warshak titties. I, I don't really know what the fuck's <laughs> going on. Warshak went out of business years ago. Dummy. Best by now. <laughs> Dummy is fun. Um, oh, I, dude, I'm such a child. The second we, I've just been so rude to both of you this whole time. No, you have. And the second I called you a big fat retard. Oh, he did. Yeah. And that's uh, all fun games, Tobe. Yeah, he's just joking. He's not the serious second, about the that. Second, What's that going <laughs> to scar me forever? The second you called me dummy, I was, I was like, "What's the meanest thing I could possibly say to live right now?" And would you come up with uh, when you post clips at the cellar? Do you have to pay Louis royalties for the black T-shirts? You know. I actually do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and it's it's a lot uh, more expensive than you think. I mean, that it's, guy is out for all of it. It's 500 bucks a clip I'm paying. I hate that. So folks, how about a share? Yeah. First of all, everyone wears a black t-shirt. Second of all, I just don't think, unless you're black, I don't think you should wear a bunch of colors on stage. I just I, really don't think so. It's distracting. Or gay. Gays can do it. Yeah, gays can do whatever they want. Gays yeah. and queers, you can do whatever you want. Express yourself. Right. But I think otherwise, it's about less of your clothing, and it's they just got to focus on the words, and I think that's the whole thing. Right. I started buying these these hoodies because I realized every article of clothing I owned was black. Bring a little color. Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to pop a little. This hoodie's black, not. We're doing Borats now? Look at that. I mean, does this guy know impressions or what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to test him. How'd you come up with that? I wanted to take him into deep waters. Yeah. And look how he fucking did, dude. Wow. You can't drown this guy. Oh, man. You just can't. I'm just waiting for you guys to hit something post-2010 with one of these. I'm waiting to post Malone. There you go. That's post-2010. But it, I was I was looking for more of an impression, but sure. You were. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best the problem with the Borat impression. It is timeless. It is, it really is timeless. It's timeless fun. It's, it's truly great. My, Anytime someone mentions their wife, you can just see every dude's eye twitch. This is my wife. I'm trying not to hit it. This is my friend Azamat the Bagatov. That is a great, great film. My parents hated it. They were outraged. Yeah, that's what it should be. If old people like your shit, you stink. Well, and they're from the country over, so it's, yeah. it's not a good look. Next door. Yeah. yeah. Every now and again, you'll hit a cool old fogey who's like, uh, old fogey? Who the fuck am I? I was just thinking that. What is that? Uh, it's just like an old-timey word for old person. Old uh, fogey? Yeah. Wow. Uh, who like, s- smokes weed still and I think stuff. you're dressed a little fogey today. <laughs> 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 I'm just joking, man. Uh, <laughs> that would be great if you're like, I'm dead serious. I'm so fucking serious right now. I don't know how I'm going to do a second episode today. I got nothing left. 
Yeah, you have another one right after. That was this? all of it. Yeah, I'd well, rather watch Monday Night Football. God damn it, Buffalo Bills are going to win. Just do that. Just do a live pod reacting to the Bills. That seems like a a great idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. Give oh, these, I, give I, these people. I was going to say like a copyright nightmare. Oh no, don't worry. About you can do that. a watch along. No, it's a subscription only. It doesn't matter. You can watch my dog. Yeah, watch along. Or you can watch along. my dog. Yeah, I guess you do have <laughs> tips and ass ripping. You They're do eating the, fuck you the want dogs. That's right. We don't edit that shit out either, Toby. What about YouTube? Nope. We just take the strikes. Oh, you're a bad boy. I let them. I had. I had the strikes hit me, and I'm like, you never knocked me down. <laughs> <laughs> They'll strike you out. Like they Jake won't knock you, down. <laughs> <laughs> you never got me down. Uh, what are we at time wise now? Oh, never a good <laughs> Counting question. Counting the clock. No, he's got to go. Oh, he's shit. got a toilet to fill. I got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a spot. What do you mean? It's 820. I got plenty of time. What time? Uh, how, how far? Just in? an hour. Oh, just an hour. Right? Yeah. Well, I just mind it to an hour. Let's mind. see what they're saying you in really... the gas chat. I bet they're being fucking pieces of shit in there. I bet you they all left because you're not looking at them. Let's see. He said multiple times that you didn't like them. Drew is good at stand-up. He represents unmint comedy at the Comedy Cellar. Fuck yeah. That's the first comment I read. I like the mint comedy people. Yeah, they're great. It's a fun show. <laughs> they is, do a good job. Is this a live app? Yes, it is. Uh, what else? What else? See, now there's no negativity in here because I told them I wouldn't be looking at it. Well, it, it's coming now that they know the eyeballs yeah, are there. Now they know. Now they know. It's coming. Somebody said, I tried calling Lev. Fuck, you never answered. So, do we actually have a phone line? We do have a phone. I did not hear it. I don't know if they called the wrong number or what, but it never came through. Well, call in, folks. I mean, I guess we could edit something out. Somebody could call in. What's the number? 573 gas line. You I heard don't know it. What that is in numbers. You heard it here first, folks. You want to call into the Lev First show? That's 1 800 gas line. Right? Oh, someone's calling. Hold on. All right, here we go. Patch them through. Brace for the That's slurs. That's literally on a phone right now. Brace for the slurs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They're coming. You know, that's... I like as soon as I said I pull up the chat, oh, the chat's like, gay, fat. <laughs> <laughs> I can see them like scrambling. <laughs> they were away from their, <laughs> they were away from their keyboards and they went, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> fat, gay, don't you be, reach hard. <laughs> uh, just a guy making coffee, spilling it everywhere, yeah. running back to his computer. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Natalie, how's it looking? Uh, I think they're patching somebody through. They're fixing it through the soundboard. We should have prepared for this. Is this going to become a phone call show? Wow. We'll probably end on this. So I'm saying you come with nothing. You got you to do something. Hello? Hello. You're live on the air. Live on the live first show. Who's Yo, calling? What up? Who are we speaking with? Uh, Cody. What's up, Cody? How you doing, brother? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm just flabbergasted at our new technology. <laughs> <laughs> they had this in 86. <laughs> and what's going on, brother? You got a question for the show? Yeah, I lost my Skankfest tickets. Can I get free tickets? Or can I just be your assistant and just come for free? Uh, you can come for free all you want. Yeah. To be, I, to be Lev's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so funny to, to ask to ask for a job after proving you're wildly irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my well, digital tickets. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I never bought tickets. So. <laughs> oh, good. That's how you get and them right there. that's the kind yeah, of yeah. lies we need at the Lev Fair Corporation. I, I had a guy on the Hell road. Yeah. I had a guy on the road one time tell me, like, hey, man, he came out to see me to a show. He goes, hey, man, I actually won, like, golden tickets for Skankfest. I messaged Lewis a hundred times. He never got back to me. And so I went and saw Lewis myself and I was like, hey, you know this guy's been looking for you? And he's like, it's his fucking problem. He's like, are you on the tickets? Like, it's your responsibility to come claim them. I'm like, he says he's been messaging you. And Lewis was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 like, All right, this is the last time I ever... <laughs> yeah. like, this is clearly not my business, and I just fucked off. But um, how much are tickets? They got to be, what, forty nine ninety nine? dollars uh, I think they're sold out. That's the oh, problem. I think they're like 500 Louis cashing in on that sweet, sweet skank that's money. Yeah, mm. he's got to get money back for all that time he's been putting in on magic tricks. Hell yeah. You know, trips to Jamaica aren't free or aren't cheap. Yeah. You know what, doggy? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I yeah, I don't know how to get you. I would, you know what? I would love to just give out Skank Fest tickets. Yeah, unfortunately, Lev has no pull here. So. Neither do I. So I, 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 I so so I can I can guarantee you tickets. I'll be there. Now you know, what? waiting out front yeah. with two. Show Hell up. Yeah. I'll let you in. Yeah, meet me outside the D on Fremont. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Natalie? Get this guy's info. Send him two uh, Skank Fest tickets, please. Thank you. You see that? You see how easy it was for him? That's he wasn't going to do that. What was his name? Cody. Cody. Give it up for Cody, folks. First call. Thanks, Cody. Wow. First, first call, call, call to the left first. Should we do show. one last call? If there is another person willing to call. Yeah. I, 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 if you call in, I'm willing to promise you a whole bunch of stuff I can't give you. Yeah. Let's give away a car. We already, yeah, dude. Let's give a car away. Who wants a car? Yeah. Uh, call we, in if you want a car. Call, all right. The, the fifth caller gets a 2018 Honda Odyssey. Call fully, in. fully loaded. Honda yeah. Odyssey. Shout out to Homer. Um, set, yeah. Let's get one more call on the horn. Uh, so this guy keeps saying he's calling. Thanks for calling in, Cody. We love you, buddy. That went so much more less racist than I thought it would. Yeah. Uh, I think we got a new feller in. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Who are we talking to? Going good, man. This is Aaron from Texas. Aaron? Yes, sir. Uh, he's like, this is an Aryan from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what, what part yeah. of te- what part of Texas are you from? Uh, it's, it's a hillbilly part of shit, Texas, you know. No. I, I figured I figured Levin have a nice metropolitan crowd. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic, hey, you hey, little hey. shithead? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I got a question for Lev there. Yeah, come on. What's up, brother? Okay. You can have three comics, dead or alive. What's your show? On the pod? Or like a no, li- no. stand-up show? There's a stand-up. There's stand-up. Dead or alive. Do people know about this show, or is it a secret show that I never have to reveal the lineup to the world? It's a secret show. How about that? Okay. Bill Cosby. <laughs> no, because here's the thing: if you remove all the rapes, right, which he, I'm sure he did, he's probably maybe not anymore. He's like a thousand years old. I bet ten years ago he was probably like maybe the best comic you could have watched. Sure, ten years oh, ago he was putting him to sleep. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, you dirty dog. <laughs> um, I mean, no. There's a, if you haven't seen this, and obviously I'm gonna separate an art from the artist guy. But there's a YouTube video from a Comedy Central special Cosby did like 20 years ago or something like that. It's a bit about my friend Ed. It's like eight minutes long. It might be the greatest bit of stand up I've ever seen in my life. I've shown so many woke people this shit, and they're like, "That was incredible." Um, <laughs> dead or alive, man. I think Patrice. Five years. Ah, fuck me, dude. What do you guys think? There's no chance he puts a woman on this lineup. No, zero. <laughs> Literally zero. <laughs> Patrice Pryor. Dead or alive? Who's somebody dead that we'd never get to see? Though? Robin Williams. Mm. Yeah, he never did it for me. I love Robin Williams. Do you? Yeah. He's on mine. I put him on Dead or Alive. Okay. Yeah. So that's, well, that's one of your three. Tell me, anybody. What, what? I'm going to get buried on my own show? Well, I'm putting up a fucking <laughs> rifleman. You're hosting. Comedian. You're hosting. I'm hosting. Yeah, you're hosting. Oh, God. I think Pryor and Patrice are two of mine. Fuck, who would the third be? Get a white guy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> See? Fuck, who would it be? Um, damn, who would uh, be? That I put tough. Kinnison in there. I'd love to see Kinnison live. But I would, I would have if you were gonna bring him back from the dead. I would bring back early Kinnison. Yeah, prime fucking yeah. yeah. First album Kinnison on the road. I think I hate stand up. I can't think. Of this anybody. is the problem. Now <laughs> I've now I've like kind of worked with everybody and like seen everybody. I'm just done. Well, that's why I focus on the dead. I'm just so focus on the dead. It's got to be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Prior- Head- Headberg's a good one to have. On Headberg. There. Headberg might we gotta be a get good Mitchin. one. All right, now yeah. I'm back in. That yeah. might be a good one. Yeah. You know what? Ah, but, but if you could go back in time, I'd probably put prime Chris Rock in there. Yeah, Chris Rock's great. Like fucking bring the pain, Chris Rock. That might be, that might be fucking jaw dropping. Like aw- that might be awe inspiring. You leave there like Jesus Christ. I think that's. I think that's definitely pr- definitely. That's probably my three. Hedberg, I think would be up there. What do you got, Aaron? Who's who's one you'd have on there? Oh, gosh, I mean, uh, Patrice obviously has to be Patrice. Yeah. Yeah. 
I do uh, like the idea of I Patrice mean, being on Lev's show because he would fucking hate you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually thought about this. He would fucking hate you. I've actually thought about this, and I don't think he would hate me. Oh, insane. I don't think he'd hate me because me and Keith Robinson get along great, and I love Keith. Keith and I, I love that energy of just shitting on everybody, right? And like, I'll, I like they. I, that's what I love about those vets, that class of vets. They love getting made fun of. So like those guys, like Greg Fitzsimmons and all those guys, you shoot a shot at them, and if you even if you don't know them, they will laugh and fire right back at you, which yeah. is like dead amongst people our age. Yeah, which, everyone's scared to hurt somebody's feelings or do anything. Yeah, like. and lose a fucking secret show opportunity. Yeah, you know right, what I mean. Right, so right. that that I would love. Um, sorry, Aaron. Who else would be on your list? All right, I got Patrice, Bernie Mac, and and probably Pyre. You're right, yeah. Yeah, I think Bernie Mac's an interesting one, too. Oh, Bernie Mac's so fucking funny. Yeah, he. Was, I mean, a lot of it was, like, street jokes and, like, book jokes with him, basically, but, like... I, I just only think about that one Def Comedy Jam set yeah. where he has his face on the pants. It's unbelievable That's shit. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> just <laughs> so sick. It's interesting now, like, who would do their face on the pants now? It would be, like, Brooklyn alt comics. It's like, that's who would do that now. Yeah, it would be... Right. Yeah, you know it would be I mean? some or some guy who just moved up from Atlanta at an open mic. Dude, <laughs> dude I yeah. weirdly think Prime Dane would be really interesting to see too. Like yeah. fucking nineties Dane, like yeah. when he started cooking. Dude, yeah. I was at the I was at the store like two weeks ago and he was he was on stage murdering. Yeah. Drew opens for him. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he just did, he, he just did the cellar. I just like, met him uh, a couple nights ago. We showed oh, the nice. beacon, and then when he went over to the cellar and did the yeah, did yeah the it was it was weird. I didn't even know he was back doing stand up like that. I just like I was like, who's that? That's like like murderous laughter, and I was like, who is? And I was like, oh shit, it's Dane yeah. Cook. Yeah, yeah. Um, Aaron, thank you for calling in, brother. We love you, man. Appreciate you listening to the show, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, good, one. good picks, dude. Um, yeah, it's funny because Drew uh, works with Dane, and they they came down to the cellar the other night, and when I met Dane, there there is like a like a slight tickle after you leave him like you're like that's dane cook that's like such a it's like somebody you i watched as a kid and you just never expect you're gonna meet that yeah. person you know yeah I mean? that was me meeting ron white at skank fest last year yeah like fucking unbelievable so sick yeah that was cool he yeah he came in and set, set smoke and everything yeah there's uh, just yeah. some hey, people... man, can I smoke weed in here i was like ron white, you can do whatever the fuck you want yeah. bro <laughs> yeah. Let's wrap there, man. Make sure you guys support these guys. Uh, check out Live at the Aladdin Theater by Toby out now. And uh, Drew Dunn's posting a lot. Please go to their YouTubes. Let them know we sent you. Um, we might be doing more call-ins on the show. That was cool. Shout out to um, to Aaron and Cody for calling in. We appreciate you guys. Shout out to our amazing producers in the building. I appreciate you guys siding with me on the 45 Sex thing. And um, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.